the signal state. Let's do this. Going on in. Uh, our machine stopped working years ago. Hmm. No one knows why. Entire city is ground to a halt. So here we are. Where are we? My radio crackles to life. You should be nearly there. Do you see it? Hold on, yeah. I think I do. Okay. We're on a farm. Might need to turn the music up. Do I need to click to advance? Wow, it's in quite a state. Alright. Turn it up because the, the title screen music was much louder than the actual in-game music. Happens a lot. Uh, click anywhere to continue. That's where you come in. That farm's your home now. It needs some fixing. Guess I should settle down and get started. Yes, you're going to be alone for now, but hopefully not for long. Go forth. Rebuild. I'm on it. With the power of technology. Oh, now music's getting loud again. The signal state. Prepare yourself. Yes. Can I click through it? No. Just really wants me to see that name for a while. Okay. There we are. Aha. Hey, it's me, Miriam. All sudden, and now the volume's too loud. Turn it back down again. Yoink. There we go. Um, yes, I'm ready to begin my work. Let's begin. Good. First things first. We'll need to recalibrate your modular rewiring system. It might have gotten knocked uh, about on your journey to the farm. Ready to begin? Uh, yeah. Let's begin. Click to go to details lab. Gotcha. All right. Objectives. This is a diagnostics test to verify the signal pipelines work. Connect SRC1 directly to both OUT1 and OUT2. This game is a, like a complicated game, by the way. Uh, personal stats. Da -da -da -da. Uh, sure. Probably the, t probably the tutorial. This is your job. Rewire the circuits to repair the machine. Click anywhere to advance. Why did my screen be... Was, why was my screen, like, delayed? Weird. Um, start with the given uh, source SRC signals. Transform them. Send them to the OUT sockets. Oh, boy. Uh, the brief describes your objectives for the circuit. You have to send the SRC1 signal to both OUT1 and OUT2 signals. Oh, my God, my brain. Um, use modules to transform signals. Connect them with cables. Click and drag on sockets to create uh, cables. Okay. White sockets are inputs, black sockets are outputs. Inputs can only be connected to outputs while wow, they are hitting you with... This is a bad tutorial. Good tutorials don't hit you with, like, a crap ton of information all at once. A good tutorial gives you a little bit of information at a time. Like, here's, like, they tell you, like, right here, tell you this, do this, tell you this, do this. Uh, try it out. Connect the SRC1 to the split input. You go to here. Boom. A split uh, takes in one input signal and duplicates it to multiple output signals. Complete the circuit. Uh, complete the split outputs to the out sockets. Although to be fair, I, I might be being, I might be being overly critical. Um, this game is clearly intended for like extremely intelligent people, I would assume. Um, all right, let's put this over here. So, more complicated tutorials. Like the, the the more intelligent your audience, the more you can get away with like bad tutorials that are like tons of information all at once. I, I, I call a bad tutorial something that's um not easily accessible for the average intelligence person. Press play to begin signal and playback and verify solution. Play. I mean, so far, the, like, the last few steps were actually pretty good, uh... Ooh, that's a nice song. The last few steps were actually a pretty good tutorial. Like, the first, like, it hits you with a bunch of information all at once I didn't even understand. Nice music. I'm being too... I'm being too overly critical. I should shut up. Um... Well, I'll score... Okay. Uh, continue. Excellent. Your system works perfectly. You're ready to begin. So what now? Start cataloging the machinery on site. Start with the simpler ones. All right, I'll do my best. Disconnect. All right, what now? More stuff. Every that's weird. Every time, um, I have I have my OBS set to display capture, and every time it switches between screens, it like the game like disappears from my ca display capture for a split second. It's very weird. Um, that's not something that really happens. Um, diagnostics test power generator. Sure. The work begins. So what's the end game here? Why are we, why are we repairing this farm? We are we already have our current one. It's giving us enough food. Well, we have surplus food and more space for our community for one. But I think we can do more than that. More? It's too early, I think, to talk about that at this juncture. Not everyone here agrees with me on the plan. Not yet, at least. Um. No. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. So I guess they're inviting a new person. I guess the first thing to do would be the on-site power generator. Good plan. That looks like an Ellis Agritech generator. Should be easy enough to rewire. Sure. Uh, click to go to the details lab. Boom. 
and send SRC1 to out1, but with the signal intensity tripled. Interesting. Uh, new game. We must triple the intensity. A split takes in one input and duplicates it to four outputs. A sum takes in up to four inputs and sums them to one output. I... <laughs> this is not a game for dumb people like me. Um, use a split to duplicate the input, then use a sum to add the duplicates together. Yeah, I don't understand any of what you just said. Um, a split, so the split, this is the split, takes in one input and duplicates it to four outputs. So, so this is the system source. And I guess this is going... So... This is... is the source. It's putting into the split. And then the split can put it out for output. So basically you're taking the same stuff and splitting it out. So I can put it all into the sum. Boom, boom, boom. We want to triple its intensity, so we're only going to use three wires. Why was that, that one red? Do we not want the red one? Why is that one red? Why is it yellow now? Why are they like changing colors? That's so weird. I guess the colors are random maybe. Okay, so now we've put, I guess, so split it three times. Now gives us a tripled, because they want us to triple it. Duplicate the input and then use the sum to add the duplicates together. So we duplicated it, or triplicate, triplicated it. And then we do the output over to here. And that should triple it, right? And then um, we hit play. Is that right? I don't know what these numbers mean, like, at all. I'm, I have no idea what any of this means. Is this right? Hey! Okay, we figured it out. I'm not as dumb as I thought. But I'm still kind of dumb. Um, continue. Sure. Good job. I suspect you'll have a lot more Alice equipment to deal with on your farm. Okay. Uh, disconnect. Keep going. Sorry about the screen being weird like that. Um, circuit breaker, new, yes. That's my background image that like is always below the game capture. That way if the game capture like bugs out, it'll show that. Or sometimes it'll show my desktop, one or the other. It's weird like that. Getting the hang of it? Uh, yeah, sure. Great, now that the generator is up and running, it's time to route power to the various power lines of the circuit breaker. All right, details lab. Uh, out one receives SRC1 signal increased by five volts. SRC is probably the source, so the thing in the top left was the, um, source, and the thing over here, I put at the end, was the out, so... Um, so the output is gonna get this one's signal increased by 5 volts, and so there's two outs, and the second one receives source one signal, so the intensity halved. Interesting. So, out one, up 5 volts, out two, intensity halved. The module catalog shows what modules are available for the circuit. Read the descriptions to understand their behaviors. Module catalog. What's the mo what's the module catalog? Is this the module catalog? Is this tooltip the module catalog? Is are these the module catalog? I'm guessing this is the module catalog up here. And they should have like an arrow pointing to this. And I drag and drop these down to use to make this happen. Read the description, understand the behaviors. Okay. Click and drag on any module. No, no, no. So no, this is the module catalog down here. Okay. Click and drag on any module in the module catalog to add it to the rack. Try it now. Add an attenuator module to the rack. Attenuator takes an input and reduces intensity and inverts it both. Okay, so put you uh, over there. Okay, click and drag on existing modules to arrange them. Why do I have two? What's? I guess like these are what I own and these are ones I'm trying to like buy or add. To. I don't understand why I have two pools to choose from. I don't understand at all. It makes no sense. Like I didn't have this last time. Why do I have? Uh, whatever. Uh, click and drag on existing modules to arrange them. Uh, drag them away from the rack to delete them. Try it now. Delete the sum module. Okay. Click and drag to arrange them. Delete the sum module. So, all right. We want click the sum. Mo I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying. I, I can. I'm moving it. Okay. There we go. Uh, delete the sum module. Okay, so, so this is just like my pool of stuff. I don't understand why we need two pools. Whatever. Some modules have adjustable controls that affect their behavior. Adjust the bias amount till it reads 10 volts by rotating the knob. Okay. Alright, uh... We're, we're... Oh, it's just, it's just an up and down. I was trying to like spin it to the right and to the left. No, it's just up is higher, down is lower. Okay, it's a bit counterintuitive, but you can figure it out, I guess. Plus 10. Um, knobs can also be adjusted with a scroll wheel 
Well, that's probably easier. Or by typing it the numeric display. That's also easier. Uh, I mean, up and down was too hard once I figured it out. Try adjusting the value to 5 volts with the scroll wheel or typing. So just, boom, there we go. Use these buttons to toggle between the module catalog and the I.O. panel. Okay, so module, and that would be the I.O. panel, gotcha. Um, the I.O. panel shows the given source signals and the expected out signals you need to match. Hover over them to see their precise values, analyze them, you might notice patterns. So, oh, okay, so source 40, out 145, out 224, okay. Interesting. Signals are always limited to a range of negative 100 volts to 100 volts. Try something the circuit on your own, good luck. Okay. This is not a game for stupid people, I'll tell you that right now. Alright, so... The first one just needs to be up by 5 volts. So... What we need... I don't know what the What is the att attenuator? What does the attenuator do? There's like some info thing, right? Controls the amount of attenuation and or inversion. I don't know what those... I don't know what those words mean. So I know the, the bias controls the amount of bias the input by. There's no input... Whatever. What's a bias? I think... Oh, we can change the color. Okay, well, that's kind of cool by right-clicking. So this, I can, I, I've already figured out that you want to put the source into this, and the out uh, goes, we want this uh, five, and this goes over to here, and that's the first one solved. I can tell that one. You just use a bias to uh, increase it by five volts, and so that'll be the out one. Out two is what I don't really know how to do. I wish I could, like, out two, here it is. Out two, receives sources one signal with its intensity halved. So I'm guessing that's the attenuator. Do I have to like put these in order? Probably not. Um, can I? Oh, I need a. I need a. I need a splitter first, because um, I need to have two of these. So you go to the splitter. You know there. Uh, you go to the splitter, and then one output one. I guess there. I'm not sure it matters. Output two go over here. I need you there. I can move over here. The like, good programming as far as like the moving around, the, even jiggle physics for the wires. Very impressive design. Just. Not a game for stupid people. Um, like me. So we got this, and do we, uh, controls the amount of attenuation and reversion. Um, maybe reduce it by 50% and put that over here? I don't know. Uh, we can try it. Module catalog. What are these? Bias, attenuator, split, some. Okay. Uh, we'll try it, I guess. No, we screwed up. Stop. Okay, so it looks like we're correct on the bias one, but the attenuator one, it's wrong. So maybe it's a positive 50%? Um, can we restart? Aha! Okay, so we had the right idea, I just wasn't sure if it was negative 50% or positive 50%. There we go, we figured it out. We'd love to see it. We're figuring it out. And just like that, that's level done. Excellent. Alright, you know what? I think that's a good spot to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other stuff.